we're creating the, uh, the first jet car that'll ever, ever do a thousand miles an hour. And we're very privileged because the Northern Cape government has allowed us to do this on the, Nor on the Haxking Pan Desert, which is uh, right up by the borders between uh, Namibia, South Africa and Botswana. And it's the best desert in the world. It's incredibly flat. And for instance, on a section which is, uh, say, two kilometers, we find the dip in the middle is about six, 61 millimeters. I mean, it's the flattest place on God's earth. It's amazing. It's an incredibly tough program. I mean, absolutely massively tough because this car's got to go, got to go 1.4 times the speed of sound. So we spent about 60 man years on research and now we're into the final design and build of the car now and we're probably about halfway through. So um, if you were down at Avonmouth in Bristol and had a look, uh, you'll see that the car's going to look like a car now, which is really good. So that's fine. And at this end here, we've had to uh, get the desert sorted. The Northern Cape government has been employing 300 people for the last uh, two years. And basically we've cleared the stones from the desert now, about 21 million square meters of stones. And also our sponsors, MTN, are uh, putting up the big radio masts now so we can take the data from the car and put it into the internet. There are lots of challenges because no one's ever done this before. You can't go down to uh, an auto centre shop and buy a, a manual on how to build a jet car. So there are some challenges. We're integrating the operation of a jet engine with a liquid hybrid rocket engine and that of course has never been done before. And, and in fact, although the, the jet engine is a, is a relatively mature engine out of a Typhoon fighter aircraft, the rocket engine is, is, is a development project in its own right. So uh, we do have challenges along the way, but they're very interesting challenges and that's what we enjoy. We've still got a long way to go, a long way to go still. Um, we're going to complete the car in the second quarter of 2015. We're then going to take it uh, and run it on runways in Britain. That won't take very long because we've just got to take it up to about 200 miles an hour. We've got to feel for it and make sure all the systems work all right. And then we will fly out to Uppington Airport and deploy up to Hackskeen Pan in the third quarter of 2015. In that deployment, which could be anything up to three months, we, um, we anticipate setting an interim land speed record of 800 miles per hour. Then, and that, at that point then, um, we're going to take it home. There'll be a lot of changes we need to make, there'll be bits of it that don't work, and uh, so we've got to get it all tied up and ready, and then we come back in 2016, and that's when we're going to um, achieve our 1,000 mile an hour record, and that's going to be really something. Well, this project's all about legacy. I mean, I, I always say our primary legacy is the education side, but Northern Cape uh, Government has in mind that the Hatchkeen Pan will become an arena for extreme sports events, so um, we leave behind a, a, a proven arena. In fact, Kalahari Speed Week is already using the eastern side of the uh, of the pan, and, and they've been d doing that now for two years very successfully, I might add. And, and I, I actually foresee that the, the Kalahari Speed Week will actually become a bigger event than the Bonneville Speed Week in America because the, because the Bonneville area is actually drying out as well. So gradually everyone is going to migrate to Hackskeen Pan and that's got to be good for the local area. I think an awful lot of people are going to come and watch this. Um, uh, we're getting an impression that it's going to be very, very big indeed. And of course, it's not every day that you see a car break the sound barrier. And the interesting thing too is that this car is actually capable of taking the low-level airspeed record. So we're putting the cars back where they should be, faster than the aeroplanes. 